In this video, you'll learn how to create and customize a banded layout at design time. As you can see in the demo, the banded grid view displays data as a table while organizing columns into logical groups, or bands. Visually, a band is represented by a header displayed above column headers. Banded views allow you to create hierarchical structures. A higher levels car band can be apparent to lower levels model and category bands. When you drag and drop a band header, its child bands and columns are all being moved. Hiding a band automatically hides all children too. The banded view supports data sorting, filtering, and other features inherited from its ancestor grid view. In the advanced banded grid view, columns can be arranged one under another or occupy multiple rows. It makes rows taller but allows you to fit more columns into the view. Let's start with a grid control that displays data using the default grid view format. Now run the application to see the initial layout. Switch to the banded grid view using the grid's level designer. A single band containing all visible columns is automatically created. To create new bands and customize them, invoke the grid designer and go to the bands page. This page contains a preview section, a set of customization buttons, and the properties grid. To append a new band, click the add new band button. Newly created bands can be further moved to another position by dragging their headers. To create a new band at a specific position, press and hold the Add New Band button and move the mouse cursor to the target position within the band panel. When you drag bands, its child columns are being repositioned as well. To move columns between bands, you can also use drag and drop. You can remove an existing band by selecting it and then clicking the Delete Selected Band button. Click the Show Column Selector button to open the customization form. It contains two tabs and allows you to hide or restore bands and columns. Drag and drop a band's header to the customization form to hide that band and its columns. To restore a band, drag its header back to the band panel. Just like with columns, you can also hide bands by simply dragging their headers away from the header panel. Bands can be resized in the same way as columns, by dragging their headers right edges. To access a band settings in the properties grid, click this band's header. Change the text displayed in the header using the caption property. Now let's create a few more bands and add columns to them. The grid control also provides on-form access to columns and bands without the need to invoke the designer. You can hide and display existing bands, reorder columns, move bands within their parent bands, resize bands, and customize band settings. Run the application to see the banded grid view layout in action. Now close the application and switch to the advanced banded grid view using the grid's level designer. As you can see, the previously created band layout is preserved. Now let's arrange column headers into multiple rows. Move the category and leader columns to the second row within their parent bands. As a result, empty spaces appear below column headers. Enable the Auto Fill Down option for these columns to make them occupy all available empty space. By default, the Auto Width feature is disabled for this view type. To enable it, set the view's Column Auto Width option to True. Now run the application to see the result. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.